We have to be thankful that we are alive today and not a few thousand years ago because all what our uh, ancestor uh, ever did is survive. You would get up and spend your entire day just finding food uh, that was in a sort the meaning of life. But as we have uh, progressed, we have created tools to make our life easier. But even then, we didn't really have much free time because even 200 years ago, life was quite difficult. And if you ever had a free time, uh, all that matter was to drink and relax. But uh, today, in the Information age technology has advanced so much that we literally have a ton of free time. It might not seem like that because you are wasting it on the distractions like the social media, Netflix, alcohol, uh, uh, pornography and so on. Uh, if you just uh, count the number of the hours that you actually work, you will be surprised about how much free time you really have. Instead of the wasting it on these useless things, uh, here are three things uh, to spend uh, your time on. Not only because you will have a lot of the fun, but uh, they make your life so much better. First, networking. Meeting new people is always fun. Some of the most incredible people uh, that the I have met in the life were in the most unexpected places. Most people have two or three friends and they spend their entire time with... Uh, and imagine the rest of the world to be the same. But it's not. The world is filled uh, with the nice and talented people who can add uh, great value into your life. Of course, getting into the streets and meeting stranger people is uh, quite awkward. That's why uh, they are networking events. Uh, there are definitely a ton of the things going into your city where you can uh, meet many great uh, cool people. You just have to put a little effort to find them. Even the idea of uh, this YouTube channel actually came from the someone I met in the marathon I went to run. He just told me, I have enjoyed talking to you. You are fulfilled with a lot of the great and the positive ideas. You should uh, share with the world. And uh, on my way home, I thought about uh, what he said and this channel was created. Second, workout. People really don't realize uh, how big uh, of the impacts working out uh, can have on your life. If you actively go to the gym or exercise, you perfectly know what I am talking about. Yes, of course, it has health benefit, but it's much more than that. It literally energizes you for the entire day. It freshes your mind, boosts your mood and confidence, and reduces stress. Whether you like it or not, attractive people have the advantage over others because they naturally give the positive impressions about themselves. Don't we all like to deal with the people who look nice and attractive? In fact, we often think that attractive people are smarter and more successful, even if that's not in the case. Of course, you cannot choose your genetics that's completely out of your hands. But what you can do is to be in shape. Exercise makes you look younger, healthier, improves your skin, uh, cleans your wrinkles and you have losing hair and if you are losing hair it helps with the hair growth as well. Third, and lastly read the books. Um, in uh, this digital age, no one really likes reading because, you know, I can simply watch a video, but keep in mind that YouTube uh, and most of the content that's produced on the internet is more of the entertainment data indications. Often they are not properly uh, researched and uh, target to grab your attention for the uh, brief moment. On the other hand, books, at least most of them, are deeply researched and are intended to deliver you the real information and not just entertain you. Because most people nowadays don't read by simply reading uh, one book a month. You will be ahead of everyone else in the every aspect of their life. Sometimes uh, all that it takes is uh, one great book to learn everything you need about money, stocks market, dating or anything else. But keep in mind that you don't have to read every book page to page, just read whatever you are interested in.
I will put a list of my favorite books in the descriptions, something you can start with. These are three things that I mostly spend my free time on because they make my life constantly better. And now why don't you let me know in what do you do in your free time? I'm really curious to know. And yes, I do read all of your comments. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.